Hi, boys and girls. I'm going to read with you, Splat the Cat, I Scream for Ice Cream. If you would like, go get your book so we can read it together. Splat the Cat, I Scream for Ice Cream, based on the creation of Rob Scotton. Splat the Cat, I Scream for Ice Cream. Splat the cat beamed in the back of the bus. His class was on a field trip to the ice cream factory. Yum. So, so happy. I could eat four ice cream cones a day, said Splat. I could eat 15, said Plank. And I could eat all yours and a million more, said Spike. Kitten licked her lips. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream, the friends cried. At the ice cream factory, ice cream swirled in big vats. Pipes steamed, nozzles gleamed. Wow, said Splat, what a dream. That's the candy coming out. Machine. Wow. The factory, the factory manager greeted them. I am Mr. Jellybean, he said. Who wants a tour? Hooray, sang the cats. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Mr. Jellybean led the class to a back room. The cats' faces fell. There was a chalkboard, chairs, desks but no ice cream to be seen. Mr. Jellybean cleared his throat. <clears throat> First, let's talk freezers, he said. Some are big, some are small. All are extremely cold. It looks like they're almost in a classroom. Mr. Jellybean talked on and on. He seemed to love his freezer theme, but the cats did not. Their eyes glazed over. Their heads drooped. They don't look very interested at all. Splat began to daydream that he was making ice cream. He closed his eyes and leaned against a big red button. Emergency ice cream release. Beep! Alarms blared, lights beamed, splat jumped and screamed. Steam puff out of steam puffed out of a big pipe. Then splat ice cream streamed out. It became a big ice cream wave. Oh no. He's surfing on the chalkboard. That grew and grew and flooded the factory. Now that's a lot of ice cream, said Plank, taking a taste. Yum. What, what happened? Mrs. Wimpy Dinkle asked. I don't know, said Splat from under the chocolate chips. The class cleaned themselves up. Mrs. Wimpy, Dip Wimpy Dimple counted heads. Everyone was there, except... Seymour! Splat screamed. I have to find Seymour he said. He ran back towards the door. Wait, Kitten cried. We'll come with you. We're a team after all. Inside, the team checked out the ice creamy mess. Let's look, they said. Be careful, Splat said. Seymour is so small, we may not see him under all this ice cream.
With brushes and buckets, the cats cleaned and ate their way into the factory. Seymour, Splat called, but Seymour, Seymour was nowhere to be seen. Then the team cleaned and ate their way through the next room. Seymour, Splat called again. When I look at this picture, I notice that his eyes are really, really big and his mouth is wide open and he's using his paws near his mouth to shout. How do you think he's feeling? He can't find his friend. How would you feel if you lost your friend? I would feel really nervous and scared and worried. The team continued until the factory gleamed, but it seemed Seymour wasn't anywhere under all that ice cream. Just then, a blob of whipped cream fell onto Splat's head. Splat looked up. Splat! There was Seymour. He was way up on a beam. He couldn't call out. His mouth was full of ice cream. Seymour leaped into Splat's paws. Then, Mr. Jellybean thanked the team. The factory is so clean. How can I repay you? Would you like some ice cream? The cats all groaned. No more ice cream, they said. For now, whispered Seymour. Splat the cat, ice cream for ice cream. I know that reading this book made me really, really, really hungry for ice cream. How about you? Can you name any of the characters that we saw in the story? I heard someone say, splat, and Seymour. I hope you have a great day. I miss you very much. Hope to see you soon.